Ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, greatly honoured to be up here and uh, having been given this fantastic award. I have to say, and I always say this when I, I'm lucky enough to be awarded uh, these kind of accolades, uh, it's, um, it's something that is a true team effort. Uh, the, the formation of the airline 38 years ago was basically 10, 10 people. Um, under those of you who remember him, Maurice Flanagan, and of course, Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, who is still our chairman and a very hands on manager of the business. So it's to all of these people and the many thousands of people who have come through Emirates, the Emirates Group, over these 38 years that have built it into the entity that it is today in a startlingly amazing country and city. Uh, the UAE and Dubai, and I was looking before I came up to my right at the uh, <coughs> Gahud Bridge, and when I first came here, that was a two-lane bridge in each direction, and the police used to park on either, either end of the bridge, because if you went over it more than about 40 miles an hour, you, get, you got fined, and it was not because of the speed, it was because the bridge was in imminent state of collapse. And when my boss, Sheikh Upper, told me, you know, Tim, they're going to build a 14-lane bridge in place of this one, I couldn't really believe my ears. But then, yes, I could, because I was already part of what was going to be the, 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 the Dubai 2023 and the, the journey it's been on, which is truly, truly, as Ian uh, so eloquently put in his uh, video, uh, voiceover about what this place has become and will be in the future. So Emirates um, is a brand that has uh, harnessed itself to Dubai. We got the bit between our teeth in the early years and we decided that we really wanted to build something really good. Um, frankly, it wasn't difficult in those days simply because they were our competitor uh, aviation group wasn't really up to much. Um, but with the, the kind of drive and vision of the, and I don't say those words loosely because this, is, this manifested itself in many of the things that we did. Um, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, now the ruler of Dubai, uh, was instrumental in driving a lot of this. And I can say today that I was honored to receive in my office the astronauts of the astronaut Mohammed bin Rashid Center astronaut program and those, uh, of course, we know have been up into the space station. And I thought to myself, you know, what a, what a wonderful country this has become. Um, and how, how uh, capable are, is the indigenous population, the locals themselves, are hugely versatile, have turned them their, their uh, skills, uh, their education to things that have produced wonderful things here. And that includes, of course, a lot of ladies, which... Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid uh, unleashed uh, on society when he introduced the, the ladies into the, the workplace. And we have many, many uh, ladies who are extremely good, who are local by origin. So I'm very proud of all of that. And I, I hope that um, the, the airline continues to excel, continues to propel the brand Dubai. Um, and I'm sure it will. And you know we're getting to a stage now, there aren't many people in the world who don't know Dubai, and I hope we can say the same for the airline. Thank you very much for this, and I wish you the very well.